Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly love reading for March 19th to the 25th. This is a weekly love reading. I hadn't shuffled this deck at all so I didn't want to take that card. We're going to get one of these and then we are going to break into the tarot deck and we're going to reveal this card at the end. Them cards are just so big and this card is like screaming out to me. So we're gonna go with that one. I don't know if we'll wait to the end. I might, I might do it sooner. We'll see. This is this one's gonna wants to fly out too. It's in the middle, so I think I'm gonna take it. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles! Imagine that. Interesting. Okay, so it appears to me that this is probably you. All right, you may be feeling a little stubborn or hot-headed this week. Wonderful way to start out the week. It's reversed. All right, you may just be concentrating on your job or something like that. You know, not really focused on finding love. And this is a love reading. Yeah, you may be just not really having the energy to find love this week. Maybe it's not the top of your priority list. You may be feeling like, you know, I'm not too excited about it right now. I'm just not. Yeah, I don't think I want to start over with somebody. Maybe you do, but maybe you do, but you don't, okay? This is the, for this week only, okay? And like I have to remind you guys, timing is fluid. But with the full card, it's like I think that you guys are afraid. You're afraid to be taken advantage of, or you are being taken advantage of right now, you know, in some way. That could certainly be the case. Somebody could be using you for money. I don't know. What is that? Yeah, there's some sort of injustice here. So somebody could certainly be costing you some money, almost kind of like you're throwing it away. There could be a loss of money, you know, somewhere. Maybe you have to, you're not too excited about this purchase or this fix, but you got to do it anyway. I mean, yeah, I feel like there's a, there's a feeling of un, not, if I can even slow down a minute, there's a feeling of, lack lack of the ability to want to do much okay that's what it looks like to me it's like eh, you know that kind of energy um, whew. you know there's a feeling there's there's like you may be feeling like you're being attacked you know, mentally by somebody. You may feel like you're being bull bullied, you're being criticized and judged, and you don't want to be. You know, I feel like that's what it could be, is like you may be feeling like you are on your own. You're on your own, and that's why you're probably hot-headed and stubborn. You're probably in defense mode for some reason. There could be some jealousy here, all right? There could be somebody could be jealous of you, or they could owe you money and not be paying it back. There's some sort of unfairness or un injustice here that doesn't make you happy okay it doesn't make you happy and it feels as though there could certainly be some conflicts uh, maybe even some competition um, you could be dealing with somebody who is playing games with you put it that way and it definitely is not making you happy it isn't it's like you just want to give up on something and I don't know what it is but I, it you definitely do want to give up on something Okay, I feel like there is some lack of desire to move forward in a certain direction. Okay, I don't, I don't want. I just want to quit. I, don't, I want to quit, and I feel like that's because you are, you are being belittled, perhaps, or disrespected, or 
you know, maybe somebody has made a fool out of you. Yeah, and I feel like you're, this is a, unfortunately, you may be feeling like not very happy, ungrateful this week because I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is manipulating. I think that you may be, you know, put down, manipulated, and judged. And I mean, that's what it looks like. And it may be, may make you feel like you're unworthy. Okay, that's what this card means. You may feel like you have a lack of worth, a lack of confidence, a lack of energy, a lack of drive. You know, it feels like somebody is totally bringing you down and it's causing you to think negatively and be unhappy. And if they're playing games, they're playing games with you. And that's why you are reversed because I feel, and that's why this came out, because I feel like this is really almost a feeling of being verbally or mentally or attacked, you know. And I don't mean like <clears throat> put down belittled that makes you feel like you're not good enough okay i feel like oh and it, it is definitely unfair you are absolutely being judged look at that okay you are absolutely being judged by somebody and it's not fair it's an unfair judgment okay and it's it's just oh my god you know it's calling for you to have faith have faith that this is happening for a reason, okay? You know, when people judge you wrongly or unfairly, it's because they don't want to be held accountable. So I think you're dealing with somebody who does not want to be held accountable for their actions, so they're trying to make a fool out of you. And that's what I think is going on. There could have been a relationship that gone sour. And now they're gossiping or something, you know. But it's so you're dealing with an immature person that is totally trying to harm you. They're out to harm your reputation. And it feels as though, you know, you are going to be called to believe in yourself and to continue your faith and to not lose sight of who you are and to just follow your inner guide and do the right thing for you through this period okay yeah there's like there's a lack of communication here and it feels like there's a lack of communication because somebody is that's a form of manip manipulation they're not communicating with you they're communicating with others okay behind your back it just looks like you need to remove these obstacles. You need to remove these obstacles. They're lies. This is lies reversed. You need to use your power, your inner powers, your inner strength, your faith to remove these obstacles from who, from this person. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be any really sign, but I'm just saying. It could be you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We could have an Aries here, Libra here, Leo here. Anybody. Okay? There could be anybody. I think there is some jealousy. There's somebody that is watching you. They're watching you succeed and they're very jealous and they're probably running you down and it's bringing you down. You're, you've been letting it bring you down. And this card is saying to keep your faith. Okay, because I feel like this is, this is about, you know, it's the end of a contract. This needs to happen. These conflicts that are going on need to happen because you have some, some happiness in front of you. Okay, so in order for new happiness to come, you've got to completely complete this contract first so that you can have a commitment. That's what this looks like to me. It looks like somebody is upset. Somebody is upset and they're trying to hold you back from moving forward and to bring you down so that you don't move forward and find happiness. What the hell is this? Yep, and that's what it looks like to me. You know, it, there's like... You, they're, they are making you doubt yourself. That's what they're doing. Whatever this person, this king of uh, swords in the middle reverse, could be any sign. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, by the way. This, you have them all here. 
the whatever this person is doing is very manipulative and hurtful and unfair and it's because they don't want to be held accountable and they don't want you to be happy because they're not happy and to see that's see what's going to happen is is there could be some disappointment and i think that you are dealing with somebody who is disappointed they're disappointed with your happiness so they want to take you down too they don't want you to go out and find happily ever after. And they feel like, or you, have rejected them. You have rejected their offer. And the thing is, is I think that you have done your, you've restored your faith. You have been through a recovery. And you see the truth now. You now, now you see the truth. And you're moving on and you're not concentrating on this person, whoever it is, and they see it. And they're miserable. They are very unhappy. You are dealing with somebody who is ruthless and manipulative. And I feel like this person is very upset with your happiness and, it, and the fact that you have moved on. And they don't want to grow old alone. You know, and I think that one of the issues is, is that you don't want to grow old alone either. And I think that that's a, that is one of the pivotal points here where somebody comes to the realization that, oh no, I don't want to grow old alone. And I think that perhaps this person, is, I think this person is the same person as the King of Swords underneath, taking on these energies. I feel like whoever this person is you are dealing with has come to the realization that they can't, they, they've lost, you know, they lost a good thing and now they want it back. And I feel that because you reject their offer, you don't give them the time of day or you don't communicate. There's no communication. There's been no communication. And they don't know, you know. And you've quit. You've quit on this situation because you've quit and you have started to remove these obstacles from your life because you know that you deserve more. You reject them and they're like, oh, okay, time for me to step it up a notch. But in their way of stepping it up a notch is putting you down and telling you that you're not good enough and, you know, you're, you'll never be good enough, you know, that kind of thing. So I think that it's going to cause you to really, really think all right, to um, need more time to heal because now, you know, it's def that's probably what's happening in April because this person is going to come back around, whether it's this week or next week, is going to come back around and they are going to shake the healing work that you have done. And then you're going to need more time to heal. Mm, damn it. And make this conscious change, okay, because it feels like there's this... you. <laughs> Like I said, and I know that this this is extremes, okay? This is absolutely extremes. This person, it's a hate. It's They really don't want you, but they don't want you to be happy either, okay? So I feel as though, you know, they are going to do undo some of the healing work that you have done. I mean, they are. They are. They're going to come in, and they're going to bring you down, but all it's going to do is restore your faith even more with the Hierophant card under here. You have the strength within you. But anyway, they're going to come in and undo some of the healing work that you have done. And you're going to need more time to consciously drop this situation one more time. Okay? You're, you're going to have to truly release this contract, which is underneath. And what's happening here is, yeah, rest and recuperate. And focus on the future. This guy, this person does not want you to focus on the future. They don't want your ships to come in and they see that you're doing so good. And it's hard for that to let that idea go once and for all. I think you really come to this realization that you're looking for more. And I, I feel like you guys are very determined. Okay, you're very, very determined to be happy. And I also see that, you know, during this time of put down, you may, you know, let your friends help you. Maybe you have a friend that can help you to recuperate 
over this situation. Maybe you need to get out there and have some fun and, and go do something to bring your spirits back up. But I see, I think that you guys are going to relight that flame really, really quick after this instance that comes up with the tower. Something is going to happen. The tower is here and it is upright. Something is going to happen that shakes up the healing work that you have done. And you're going to have to take a step back and, and, and really you know, go through that little healing period again, okay, for whatever happens, okay, it's going to it's gonna give you the need to, to heal once again over a certain situation, okay, because it's going to really shake you up with a tower card, something is going to happen, and I think it's somebody that you know that is going to come in and uh, spit out some really harsh, nasty words that should never be said, and tell you that you're very, very unworthy, and you're not never going to be this that whatever you know and that you are going to be called to have faith believe in yourself and hold your head up high and work through this okay it's going to be hurtful but it's only for a minute i think that you're going to get through it you're going to relight that fire within you and go have some fun and i feel like that's the case because you're not looking. You're not looking to, or you don't have passion for this person anymore. You know, you're not interested in this person anymore. There's no passion. There's no growth. There's no expansion. There's no excitement there. And they've criticized you and judged you. So whoever this person is, I want to get a future here for the week. Is there anything different? There's no victory and success here. There's not in wish fulfillment. There's not because this is a week of dealing with these emotional feelings that somebody brings up. Somebody is like treating you unfairly. And you are going to be called to have the faith to rise above it. And reject the offer. Because down the road, you do have happiness. So whatever this is, rise above it. Definitely get the hell out of there. Because it's nothing but, if it's a partner, a romance partner, it's sex, okay? It's lust. Whatever this is, it's come and go, one night stand, not very long, I'm not staying, I'm pretending, I'm faking, and you suck. So my, my advice to you is, reject the offer. You ready? Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Oh my God. This is what's happening. This just totally reiterated what I was saying. It's a time of reevaluation the hard way. Like I said, it's just going to restore your faith and make you even stronger. So whatever is happening with the tower, it's meant it's a blessing in disguise. This is going to bring you the closure that you need. That leads you to the next step. Okay? So just whatever happens, it is what it is. You've got it. Talk to you later.